Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a haul video. I think Joanne's is gonna be the new Tuesday morning in these pandemic times because you can do curbside pickup. Um, and so, yes, uh, Paige Evans has just released her Bloom Street collection and I wanted to see if this is something that will be interesting for you. So let's start with let's start with a six by eight paper collection. This has 36 sheets. And um, these have this is a specialty paper pad and it has the iridescent um, finish to it. So let me show you what they have. Um just in case this is something. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. It is perfect for spring. And as you can see, it's very, very colorful in true Paige Evans fashion. So we start with the cut apart. I love that she included a lot of purples. That is just gorgeous. I don't normally like purple, but with this collection, it just absolutely works. As you can see, it's so beautiful. Very, very pretty, very spring. Oops, sorry. And look at this paper. Wouldn't that be precious as a coffee cup? My goodness. And look at this. You can definitely make um, flags out of that one. Oh, how pretty. Beautiful, beautiful colors, guys. I don't think this has to be just spring. I think this is also appropriate for spring and summer. Or any kind of season. How pretty is this pink? Then hearts is next. Look at that gradient of colors. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. And this one is iridescent. And then next would be diamonds. This one is a good accent color. This is great for your the leaves of your flowers. Look at that. So bright and gorgeous. This one, honestly, I don't know what to do with. I would probably give that away. Oh, how pretty are these butterflies. The colors are so beautiful. This would be such a cute card. You know, if you just fold it like this. This one is like a watercolor effect. Ooh, that one's so pretty. Can you guys see that? So today my husband helped me try to do a YouTube live. It took us three hours and we didn't even do a successful YouTube live. So it was very frustrating. Oh, this is a cute combination for hearts like um fringe hearts wouldn't that be such a cute combination and this is a cute checkered anyway so i really really wanted to do a youtube live and he was so supportive trying to help me i absolutely appreciate him um but in the end yeah we couldn't make it um i need 19 more subscribers so that i can do youtube live so hopefully I'll be able to get those subscribers very soon. Um, if you like my content, please join me. Please hit the subscribe button down below. I would absolutely appreciate it. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty, isn't it? I'm excited to do some die cutting in here or punching. So cute. This green is very pretty. It's like yellow green plus chartreuse. And then it repeats. So this is the second sheet that you're going to have. So this is Bloom Street. Guys, so pretty. If you like beautiful, beautiful colors, this is it for you. And this is not black. It may transmit black in the camera. But this is like a mix of blue and violet or purple. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Next is the project pad the project pad has very limited amount of 
um, paper, but it has the stickers and it has the um, plain cardstock that matches exactly. So it's perfect for layouts. Okay, let me fix the camera real quick just so I can show you the entire thing. Okay. I think that is better. All right, here we go. Guys, how pretty. But just know that these stickers are very made of very thin paper. So what I would do is I would put them... I would suggest you put them on like a Nina solar white cardstock and then just fussy cut them. But they are absolutely gorgeous though. You, you make my heart flutter. These are so pretty. Look at that strawberry. It's very beautiful. It's right there. Iridescent is what it's called. How cute are the jars? So inspiring. I wish I wish there was um, a rain boots die. Live life in full bloom. How pretty. How pretty. I know Paige Evans' daughter Jane loves birds. So that's why she always tries to put birds in her collections. So these are... Let me show you what they look like. They are flowers that are shaped into letters and numbers. Very cute. This one is, again, iridescent. And the, as you can see, there's like these darker hexagons behind the scene of the iridescent hexagon layers. How pretty. This is so girly. You can make like a, a mini album. So pretty. Some cards. Ooh. This one is a purple. Very glittery purple. Let me see. But I'm not a fan of purple. But this collection for some reason. Just. It just works. Look at that. <coughs> butterfly that would be cute with like hearts right and this one look do you notice that there's like a stain on this gold glitter there's a mark right there do you see it there's a round stain that's weird this is very very pretty she Paige Evans is known to do this like a two by two kind of swatch it's absolutely very pretty very, very pretty. The papers are thick, the printed papers. Just the stickers are not. These are gorgeous. Then there's the hummingbird again. I think as tribute to Jane. These are cute. This is a very beautiful, beautiful colors, guys. Spring, summer, all throughout the year kind of colors. This one was I think the design that they used for the letters very pretty this was iridescent in the 6x8 collection and now we start with the plane so it's single sided all these are single sided so this one is the pink the next one is the darker pink so this is perfect for like accents if you want to stamp your own um, sentiments on coordinated paper this would be great or letters if you want to cut your own letters how pretty are these or matching bows guys this would be so perfect matching bows to match the collection oh that would be such a great idea I'm definitely doing that matching bows because these colors are perfect. So, I am planning on... Well, I have a lot of plans in the next few months. So I'm very excited. 
and I'm really focusing on the expansion of my channel, so I'm very grateful about that. How pretty are these colors, guys? So pretty. And then the back is beautiful watercolor from green to blue to purple. Absolutely gorgeous, right? So that's that. This one, you can cut them into sentiments or you can use the back part. It's up to you. But there's a lot of sentiments that's going to be in there. Keep life simple. Remember joy, breathe, blossom, wish. So if you're very patient, you can cut that up and you have ready-made sentiments for everything. These one are seed packets that are so pretty. For fruits and herbs, flowers. I think my favorite is this one. No, wait. This is very pretty too. The wildflowers are very pretty. The strawberries are very pretty. Oregano is cute. Blueberries are pretty. I think they're all very pretty. Let's see the back. This is the back part. You can still definitely use these strips. This, some of the papers that are my favorite, I got multiples of. I think this is a good idea to fussy cut because I only got um, one ephemera pack. And I'm going to show you the details of that in a little bit. And the back part, oh, this lovely green color is the back part. Absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of a St. Patrick's kind of green. So guys, this one is my absolute favorite paper of all of it. And I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And my plan is to cut these apart. Cut them all up. And make them into my own embellishments. This is the back part. Very beautiful. But wouldn't this be a perfect cover for your traveler's notebook or your mini album? That would be so amazing. And Joanne's guys right now has um, coupons. I think 20 off coupons. So I would take a look at their website if this is something that interests you. Isn't that pretty? The flowers are gorgeous. Like I wouldn't even use that color normally, but with this collection it totally works. Like I I think it's more reddish. How pretty. So I'm probably going to use the back part. Um all right. Oh my gosh. Don't you think these butterflies are so pretty? Look at the cute colors. Isn't that so inspiring? What beautiful field. This is cute too. You know what? You can make your own paper tassels with this. This would be beautiful. Wouldn't it be beautiful? And then you get the, the beads from BB Craft. You can get these colors because they have a set with super cute pastels that would be so wonderful um let me know down below if you want a tutorial for that um so these are some hearts i only got two of this but they are so pretty super super pretty and this is the back portion of that and then this one is the stripes and this one is the back so dainty super dainty cuteness so that's that and this one wow i only got one of this okay <laughs> this would have been great if i had a little bit more than one yeah i probably wasn't thinking I was trying to rush to get out of there because I went to Joanne's to get cloth. Oh, no. I have I have these, which is different. I went to Joanne's to get cloth because I needed to make some masks. Masks and surgical caps for work. Well, this, is, this is the front and this is the back part. Now this is, they have the pink version of the watercolor. This is so pretty. 
and so that's why I was rushing because my main focus was just to get my pick up and get my fabric and you know how it is it's just it's just stressful being out I feel like I promise this is gonna change all of us how pretty guys how cute this one is so pretty and this one already tells you like you have to make this into a banner like this see you add your and then you put your ephemera let's see the back Ooh, that's pretty as well Paige Evans like she used purple in such a way that it's just gorgeous you cannot say no to that purple enjoy the little things how cute is this I wonder if she hand hand draws them or hand paints them when she makes her here's another one that should have been that we should have had more of oh yes oh oh yeah don't rush friends and this one um definitely i will be cutting this apart i feel like it's way too thick if it was a little bit thinner that would have been perfect so i need to cut it and this is the back part which is love this would be cute for a layout like remove this one and replace it with a photo or cut this up cut the middle portion and insert a photo and that would have been it because the layout speaks for itself and so now we're gonna I didn't get the washi tape or the other stuff I just got the ones that I really really liked and so as always I like the stamps it says sunshine and happiness walking on sunshine hello and thanks and the beautiful font as well and these are the floral stamps they're very very beautiful and then a hummingbird right there and some two butterflies cloud and sun so cute so it's there and then they have these I thought these would be more dimensional but it's really flat as you can see it's super flat. Um, yeah, let's see what they look like. Maybe. Maybe it's flat because of the packaging. Oh, yes. So you are correct. It jumps off the page. How pretty. I want to try to do this with my punch. So, we'll see. But aren't they beautiful? If you punch it two times and then you match them, that's another video. Let's see if we can recreate this and make a hundred butterflies. Because I have a die and I have a punch. But just one regular standard size punch and a butterfly die. So we'll see what we can do. That's another video. And then this is the Bloom Street Stickers. So I am planning on making a rack for a special friend. So she loves florals. So this is my plan for her is sending her some Bloom Street gorgeousness. She loves florals and that's her jam. And these are some, aren't they beautiful? I wish they had a paper with these strawberries. That would have been awesome. I would have loved that paper. Or maybe they do. It's just not where I, it's just not available where I purchased my goodies. So this one is the 12 by 12 sticker collection. It gives you 97 stickers. These are thicker. But it guys, did you notice that? You see that? I think I should return this. Definitely look. Look at that. So when you remove this, look. It does oh no. No, this is not cool. No. Look how it was cut. I have to return this. 
but overall this is a very beautiful product it's just yeah okay let me show you if you're gonna remove the sunshine okay you're gonna have unshine because the s was left behind so i will definitely return this wish me luck this one is okay this one almost made it but it got worse as it went up see what matters most you can only have half that is not no that's unacceptable yeah i need to return this definitely but it doesn't take away how beautiful the product is maybe it's just mine so make sure that you check yours how pretty guys i cannot get enough of these florals so definitely your sister which is me i will be fussy cutting a lot and putting a lot of foam dots i was watching eileen's um live today and she was doing a flat mail oh that was so challenging i don't think i will be able to do that because i like to put foam dots on everything I was telling her like girl you are so good it, it turned out so beautiful but if it was me I would have struggled isn't that pretty you just want to put a foam dot in there and so very beautiful okay so on top of these goodies I will definitely return this because it's messed up on top of this I saw this from the Jen Hadfield. I already got this collection from scrapbook.com for my birthday haul. However, this I did not get. But look at the back, you guys. It's my favorite print. It's the buffalo check print. And it's black and white, isn't that? How could you say no to that? So I said yes for two sheets. So guys, original price for this is $0.99 cents and I got it for $0.12. Cents. So please go to your local Joann's if they're open. Okay, so next one, I saw this Pebbles Happy Hooray um, paper pad, like a project pad. I was working on the Hooray by Crate Paper and I don't really have the embellishment and so I thought this would be a cute addition so let's start with just the loose papers that I got I'm definitely gonna fussy cut all these but these are super cute as well but yes I will fussy cut these also I will be fussy cutting and I already made plans for these collections as you can see and this one will be fussy cut this is a very cute color um so when i got it let me show you i already started fussy cutting them i couldn't wait but yes that's the plan and it's gonna go in this um ziploc bag until it's ready and so this one is a project pad oh my gosh is this cute Wait. Nice been going to sleep now. Isn't this cute? Oh my gosh. So let me show you my plans for the happy hooray. For the happy hooray, these are my plans. I'm gonna make 30 birthday cards. I'm gonna make birthday coffee cards and 10 treat bags. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I think I'm gonna need the help of plain paper. I'm gonna need the help of my hooray crate paper collection because I feel like they're kind of related. Oh my gosh, is this too cute? So definitely, as you can see, it's so flimsy. I need to look how flimsy that paper is. See? So what I'm going to do is I am going to get a... Let me show you. Just a moment. I'll be back. Okay, so this is a Nina Solar White cardstock. So this is 85 pounds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out and put it all here and then fussy cut them all and then now I have ephemera. 
there. So yeah, wouldn't that be a good idea? Because the sticker is so flimsy. It's like, I don't know how many pounds this is, but it's not enough to become ephemera. It's just too flimsy. So that's what I do with the stickers, like the, you know what we what we get from Tuesday morning, like the Maggie Holmes sticker pad from American Express. That's what I do. I put them in, um, Nina cardstock, or any kind of cardstock, and then fussy cut it, and then you got your embellishment. So I'm really really excited. I love fussy cutting. So that's my plan for that. Let's not get distracted. This is the cutest zebra. Look at the lion. A very calm lion. I'm excited, guys. That's why I did. I wanted to do um 30 birthday cards. How cute. So definitely, because this is also very thin paper. So I'm going to do the same for that. <clears throat> and these have glitter on them. How very pretty. So like this one, you can cut this up. Simple. Cut it up and then put a cupcake and then your birthday is done. Your birthday card is done. And then they have some glitter paper. This one is pink. This one is the additional um, coordinating paper. And I thought about the Doodlebug collection for this. Look how cute. I haven't showed you guys the boy um, collection, the embellishment that I made, but that's going to be for another video. These are so pretty. It just reminds me of the Hooray collection from Crate Paper. So this definitely will be fussy cut, friends, as you guys know. And then we start with the plain coordinating card stuff. So cute. So definitely we will be using these. And that is it. All right, friends. So I hope that you enjoyed this whole video. I feel like Tuesday, like Joanne's will be the new Tuesday morning during these pandemic times because Tuesday morning is closed. Um, yes, friends, curbside pickup is kind of a legitimate option. Um, if it's your birthday, you know, you just sometimes you just need... A little pick me up and so yes i hope you guys stay safe guys don't forget to wash your hands stay home if your state requires you to wear a mask wear a mask there's a lot of tutorials out there if you don't know how to sew you can make a mask using rubber band or hair ties um yes so please protect yourself Stay safe, stay strong. We can do this together. Um, you guys have a wonderful crafty day. Take care. And this is Christian signing off. Bye, friends.